Hi everyone, I'm Kathy. Welcome back to Kathy's Happy Home. I know I haven't been around in a while, but uh, it's been a hectic life. And I'll have to do a Kathy chat soon to catch you up on everything. But it's Sunday morning and we're on our way down to Cape May uh, to go to Cape Community Church this morning. Uh, Joe has uh, a package he needs to pick up there and we said, well, let's just go. But uh, we made a quick stop at the Farley Rest Plaza. And uh, Joe will be back soon. I decided to just stay in the car. My feet are really, really swollen. And it's hard to walk, but it's easier to drive than to be a passenger at this point. So um, I tell Joe it's because this seat has great lumbar support and it feels so good. I wish my chairs at home felt as good as this. But anyway, uh, here we are. I'll give you a quick little glance around. And here is the rest stop. And over here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a big butterfly for some kind of garden display. Uh, display. And here comes Joe. Church was great, and now we're going out to lunch with some friends of ours at this place. And we've been driving and driving. We think we're in Cape May. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Cape May City, Joe says we are. And it's a, it's a little place called Bella Vida. Um, I probably will not be taking shots inside because, you know, other people are around. But I will be catching up with you in a little bit. Okay, well, it's the next day, and I'm still in the car, and it's Monday now, and Donna and I decided to go to lunch at uh, Chick-fil-A, so we're just getting done. How was lunch, Donna? Lunch was very good, and the company was great. Ah, uh, she has to say that because I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, yeah, lunch was great, and we do get talking, and we just sat there and talked for quite a while. But the good thing with Chick-fil-A is nobody chases you. So I'm taking her home, and then I'm going home, and I am going to give you a recipe to end out this uh, video. So here's the promised recipe. I'm having salmon for dinner tonight, and I looked up quick and easy recipes for salmon on the internet and I found this one now I've never tried it before but it sounds really good so let's try it together I'm setting my oven for 375 the recipe said to put the fish on a uh, cookie sheet but since I just have these two little pieces for us I'm just put it in a 9 by 9 pan the one thing is that they never said how much of anything to use but to mix together some olive oil lemon juice well it said juice of half a lemon but i don't have a half a lemon so i'm just using lemon juice some minced garlic salt let me move out the way here pepper and italian seasoning so i'm going to do just what looks good to me now i've whipped this all up together so it looks sort of like um uh, salad dressing and I'm going to pour this over the salmon there's the curious one say hello George all right, and now I'm going to put this in. The recipe says to put it in 
375 for 35 to 40 minutes. This is just two little thin ones. So I'm going to start at 20 minutes and see if that's going to be enough. Joe got these Thai style seasoned vegetable blend at Target. And I'm cooking that to go with the salmon. And boy, does it smell delicious. And here is dinner. Everything smells wonderful. Let's see if the 12 minutes was enough on this. And it was. This is a uh, little pink salmon. Um, so they're much small. Pink salmon is smaller than like the red sockeye or something like that. So it doesn't take as long to cook. And now let's see how it tastes. Mmm, very, very good. Thanks for watching, even though it took me three days to get this video done. And I will see you next time, really soon. Bye for now.